everybody. Hi guys and dolls. Welcome back to the Janae Wall Show. In this video, I'm going to be sharing um, just a little bit. I'm just going to flow with the Holy Spirit. Um, for some of you, you may feel like you're going through test after test after test. And it's a test of your faith for a lot of you. Um, I know like for me, It has just been like test after test after test with many, many things in my life. And sometimes our faith can dwindle and our faith can diminish and it can feel like, God, like, what's going on here? Um, and sometimes we give the enemy way too much credit. We're like, the devil's doing this, the devil's doing that. But sometimes it's God that is testing you. It's God that is crushing you, that's breaking you to then bless you even more. Um, so no matter what you're going through, that know that God, He sees the end from the beginning. And I'm in a, currently in a situation, one of the tests where, um, and maybe I'll share more on this later on, but um, I was praying to God at my job, and I had been faithful in my job where He had assigned me to do, you know, assigned me. Um, and, you know, I was just, the job was causing some issues with my health, and I knew that I wanted to do more, that I was called to more uh, work with mental health. And it had been my prayer and had been multiple prayers kind of combined. For some of you that do not know, I'm currently a full-time now graduate student um, in mental health counseling. That's what I'm studying. So, so excited. And um, I just was going through some things and there has been some delays even with my new job. And I'm just like, God, you have favored me like thus far. And now I feel like there's this big speed bump in the way or this big roadblock. And um, I was just sitting here and just singing, you know, Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness my god that is who you are and for some of you you have to just be reminded that god is the way maker the miracle worker because in my situation i'm like god i don't know how this is gonna happen you know but nothing is too hard for the lord nothing is impossible for the lord and um i want to come on and encourage you um, by the time I upload this, it'll probably be my birthday. It'll probably be January 26th. But I just want to share my, my testimony, and I don't know why the Lord is like. But when He nudges me, I just go with it. But maybe someone on here is watching, and maybe will need encouragement of this too. But for whatever reason, I feel like telling my testimony of um, what happened before I was even born. So, um, I'm a miracle baby. Um, the doctor didn't think my mom could have any kids because of severe endometriosis, and long and behold, God had a different plan. That's why we don't report to the doctors for final say. We report to the Almighty God because His word is final. Um, so here I am, and my mom also had, you know, my brother too. Um, and even as I was coming out of the birth canal, I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck, and even like from birth guys the enemy has been fighting my voice you see i am a worshiper you see that um i'm a talker that's how i minister to people that's the gift that god has given me that i just that's what i just i do i just talk um and so the enemy always is coming even now spiritual warfare he's always trying to come after my voice he's always trying to silence my voice because he knows that that is going to be what um helps people that's going to be my um, kind of like my way of ministering to people and so I just want to encourage you um, for some of you that are going through situations that seem like they're impossible like God how are you going to even do this how are you going to even work a miracle for some people it might even be just stuff related to like your career your work your school and for others um, you know some that even may be going through infertility and God has promised you a child but you don't even see how that's going to happen. I just want to come on and encourage you. I am a living, talking, breathing miracle. The doctors didn't think I was going to be here, but God 
Hallelujah. Um, so I just want to remind you, no matter what you're looking at, no matter what you see, keep going. Even in See Nothing Seasons, God has you. That's the most beautiful thing about it is that when God has you, even when things seem like they're spinning out of control, they're spinning out of control in God's hands. And we know he has full ultimate authority, power, and control. Um, but yeah, no matter what you're going through, keep pushing, keep pressing, no matter what it looks like. It's funny, so many things that I was worried about and stressed about, I'm like, I had to repent for later. I'm like, God, I shouldn't have even been worried about that because you always come through. You always come through. So sometimes we worry about things and God is like, I have you. I have that situation already under control. And um, God is just so good. But I just want you to just worship. Just worship. When you are worshiping, you have a posture of praise. The enemy, he can fight you on so many things, but what he can't take away is my praise. And I hope the same for you guys. The enemy cannot take away your praise. Like, I'm going to worship God no matter what storm I'm in, no matter what season I'm in, I'm going to declare that God is good. And today I've uh, realized, for some of you know, I was in a car accident a couple years ago, three years ago, actually, almost just about. And I still have pain from that. And I'm still believing that God is fully going to heal me. And But even, even in that situation, sometimes when I'm at work or wherever I'm at and I'm in pain and I'm being reminded of that, um, I just sing Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, my God, that is who you are. And this is my favorite part. Even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. He is the ultimate way maker. And just right now, wherever you're at, you don't even have to sing in perfect pitch or whatever. Just give God a shout of praise and thank God. Like, I might not be where I want to be, but I thank God I'm not where I used to be. That's a blessing in itself. That's a breakthrough in itself. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm about to be 23. Oh, my goodness. I just think of God's hand in my life. And for those that um, do not know, my name actually means God is gracious. God's gracious gift. That's what my name means. And I found that out last year, and I'm just like, wow because here the doctors were telling my mom that she was most likely not going to be able to have kids but my name means god's gracious gift and she had my name picked out at least 10 years before she had me she had my name in high school so even that it just wow just wow what a mighty god we serve what a mighty God we serve. So keep your eyes on God. Seek, your, seek his face. Seek him while he may be found. That just popped up literally on my phone, that scripture from my Bible app. But um, I love you all. And be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. No matter what it looks like, no matter what you see, you declare God's promises over your life. His promises are yes and amen. Even with, even with everything that's going on, declare it. Even when you don't see it, even when you don't feel it. Even when I'm in pain, God, I'm healed. I thank you, I thank you God, for healing. Because it is finished. And I thank you, God, for bringing me in from brokenness into wholeness. Sometimes you have to speak the word over yourself. Speak the word and you will be healed. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. All right, I'm going to get off here, y'all, because I, I can keep singing all night and praise the Lord. Hallelujah on my soul. I can praise the Lord. Um, but stay encouraged. God is the way maker. Watch, watch him move. I mean, declare to that mountain and it shall be moved. Watch that mountain move. 
right before your very eyes because we serve such a mighty God. I love you all, and I'm always keeping you all in my prayers. God bless. Bye, guys and dolls.